Hello and welcome to this short introduction on how to use the Engage 2020 Action Catalog. My name is Hent and I will be your guide for the next few minutes. The Action Catalog is a methods catalog designed to help you find the method that best suits your research or engagement project. This is the main Action Catalog interface. It is divided into two columns. On the left we have a number of checkboxes, sliders and so on. These are various ways to input your own criteria as to what you need from a given method. On the right we see a number of colored circles. Each circle represents a method. I'll now try to fill out some of the inputs. Notice that as you start to fill out any applicable inputs on the left, you will notice that the circles on the right change size in response to what you select. They also move, but this carries no meaning. It is merely done to keep all the circles as near as possible to each other for better readability. The change in size, however, is significant. The larger a given circle is, the better it fits any criteria you have specified. Further criteria can be found by expanding the inputs under the links Practical Considerations, Participants, and content of method here. Simply click one of the links and the respective inputs will be shown. Should you wish to assign a higher importance than is given by default to any of your criteria, you can do so. Next to every input, you will see a little cogwheel icon. If you click it, you will be presented with a slider to set how important this criterion is. For example, I have already clicked policy formulation here, but I would like to make it more important uh, in deciding what method is best for me. So what I do is I simply click this cogwheel icon. and I get a slider. The further I move the slider to the left, the less important this criterion will be. The further I move the slider to the right, the more important it will be. Keep an eye on the circles in the background as I move the slider. You will see that as I change the importance of this criterion, the sizes of the circles change correspondingly. If you move your mouse over any circle, a pop-up will appear with a brief description of that method. Should you wish a more detailed description, click any circle and a new page containing the description will be shown. Remember, the larger the circle is, the better it fits your search criteria. And here you have the full page describing the worldwide views method in detail. Click the Back to the Search link at the top of the page to return to your search. You may also use the Search slash Filter to search for any text in the method descriptions. The circles will take on sizes depending on which text has the most hits in your search. For example, 
Let's try and search for citizen. Finally, this switch switches between displaying circles and a sorted list of the methods. When displayed in sorted list form, the methods first on the list correspond to the largest circles in the circle display. And I simply click the icon with the circle on it to return to the circle view. That's all for now. I hope watching this video has helped become confident in using the Engage 2020 Action Catalog. Thank you for watching.